10 Expenses All Rich People Avoid Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, welcome, and consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell notification below. You might have heard that the primary difference between the wealthy and the rest of us is that they're in control of their money. They don't let money control them. So this is the exact strategy rich people use. They're in control of their money. Most rich people have become wealthy through savvy spending and smart saving strategies. They always carefully monitor their budgets and bank balances and don't waste money on goods and services that provide less in return. So if you want to get rich, then you have to learn about the things they've cut off from their budgets. Let's see. Number 1. Lottery Tickets Don't play the lottery if you need to be rich. This is a well-known way to waste your money very quickly, and rich habits don't include a weekly trip to the convenience score lotto line. As the winning chance is very low, this seems like a waste of money. Don't squander your hard-earned cash on gambling when you could invest those in wealth-building goals like retirement or college tuition. Many studies have shown that low-income people play the lottery much more frequently than higher-income people. Rich people only play when the jackpot is having a large prize and there's more media attention. Number 2. Bank Fees Banks also charge fees for their service, as do many other businesses. Many banks charge a monthly maintenance fee for certain accounts. Analysis has been done by the Center for Responsible Lending regarding these bank fees. It is revealed that the three largest banks in the U.S., J.P. Morgan, Chase, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo, earned more than $6.4 billion in 2016 from ATM and overdraft fees alone. If you're constantly paying bank fees, you're losing money each time. Successful, wealthy people are always frugal, so they don't waste money on unnecessary fees, which could be easily avoided. What's the simplest method to prevent these charges? The best thing is to follow the bank guidelines set forth by the banks. If you fulfill one of the many criteria, such as keeping a particular average daily balance, you can avoid paying the fee. A certified financial planner, Dave Henderson, advised customers to request an account review with a banker to determine whether you're having a suitable account for your specific scenario. Afterward, you could see if you can minimize or eliminate any fees on your account. If you're a good customer, they will comply with your request to reduce costs. Number 3. Credit Card Interest A credit card is like eating from a tub of ice cream. You might feel guilty afterward, but it's just too easy. For sure, it's very convenient to use a credit card, but you will not find wealthy people accruing high credit card interest. They already know it's a waste of money. Transferring or consolidating your debt to a credit card with 0% introductory APR can avoid paying interest. You have to make sure that you pay off your balance before the promotional period expires. Once you've gotten out of debt, live on less than you earn. You can build wealth steadily without having to rely on credit cards or other non-deductible debt. If you can train yourself to put money away for your future on a regular and systematic basis, it's a pathway to becoming rich. Number 4. Inflated Interest Rates Americans' average FICO score reached 714 in 2021, the highest level since the credit risk scoring system's creator, Fair Isaac Corporation, began tracking stats. This is a significant financial achievement because clean credit scores are a major factor in determining your interest rate for auto loans, mortgages, and any other loan. You will save hundreds or thousands of dollars in interest over the life of a loan simply by having a high credit score. People with low credit scores, on the other hand, may not be able to obtain loans at all. Successful people always maintain their credit reports by paying bills on time, keeping debt levels low, and correcting errors on their credit reports. And if you already have a good credit history but carry a balance on your credit card accounts, contact the card issuer and request a higher credit limit. Number 5. Late Fees A late fee is a charge imposed on a consumer who fails to make the payment on a debt or other financial obligation by the due date. Rich people try to avoid them because late fees can deplete their bank accounts and credit scores. Late payments can even cost people who pay off their balances every month. Almost every other monthly bill has its own procrastination penalty. By automating everything, savvy spenders avoid late fees. If you've ever wondered how can I get rich, Automating your payments to avoid high fees and penalty rates can help you keep more of your money. Number 6. Extended Warranties If you bought a flat-screen TV, for example, you were probably asked, would you like to purchase an extended warranty? However, according to Dave Ramsey and other experts, successful people have a very simple answer to that question. No. Always people want to get the maximum out of their product purchases. 
but extended warranties rarely provide more bang for your buck. The fine print on most extended warranties is extensive. You're not going to read it. Almost no one does. The companies that sell extended warranties are aware of this. They do, however, understand the fine print. Everything was written by their lawyers to protect them. When a claim is filed, the firm will look for anything in the fine print that may allow them to avoid paying the claim. You might discover that your purchase isn't protected against harm at all. Number 7. Impulse Buy Have you ever gone to a store with the expectation of buying one item, only to leave the store with a cart full of other things? Maybe you got a few extra items because you wanted to purchase designer shoes from the flash sale of your favorite clothing website. Whatever the case may be, this is not a shopping habit of the wealthy. Rich and successful people are planners, and impulse purchases do not suit this quality. According to Leslie Tain, the author of Life and Debt, if you want to emulate or surpass their behavior, you should be much more cautious with your money. Tain advised going cash only to help you save money. You can use the envelope system, having only a prearranged amount of money to spend at each store. This technique will help you stay on budget and curb any impulse buying or overspending habits you may have. Number 8. Low Interest Savings Accounts Do you like depositing money in savings accounts because it's safe and you can take it out whenever you want? Do you wish to see more than pennies on your savings? If you answered yes to both questions, change your plan to truly resemble a financial tycoon. Regular savings accounts do not pay much interest, and that's why rich people avoid them. So look beyond the traditional system of banking for high-yield savings accounts. Instead, try online banks, which usually offer the highest return rates. Credit unions also provide competitive rates. If you want to grow your wealth by making wise financial decisions with money, start exploring online savings account options. Number 9. Premium Brands Although there are many designer labels on the red carpet, many wealthy individuals refrain from purchasing designer labels for every purchase. They understand that just because they have the money to splurge on luxury brands does not mean that they should. Financially successful people evaluate shops and understand the value of both quality and price. They may prefer a lower cost item or purchase a higher quality item from a cheap store in order to make the best financial decision. So if you would like to mimic the habits of the wealthy, consider whether that $200 pair of jeans is truly worth the investment or whether $30 discount store denim will suffice. Always shop wisely and smartly, keeping in mind your budget and financial goals. Number 10. TV Channels and Video Games TV and video games are something that wastes our time unknowingly. Financially successful individuals spend considerably less time stuck to screens than those who are not rich. According to data available, adults with lower annual income spend 42.22 minutes per month on video game consoles, in comparison to 17.58 minutes spent by adults with higher annual income. Rich people spend their time doing something different than other people. So if you want to see how highly effective people spend their Saturdays, turn off the TV and try to do something effective. So that's all for today's video. If you made it this far, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.